Hello and welcome back to my channel eMaths. And the topic for today is inequalities. We have already studied about linear equations. So another term coming up very much related to linear equations. But as the name goes inequalities, it means it is a statement of inequality between two expressions. So again, we are going to have two expressions and the sign will be other than equals to sign. So other than equals to sign, we have a greater than sign or a smaller than sign. So in inequalities, we are going to use these two signs. Now there are certain properties which helps us in solving inequalities. Like when we were doing linear equations, we were transposing the terms on the other hand side to find the value of the unknown. The same thing we are going to do in inequalities as well. The only thing that we need to take care of is the sign of inequality. Always remember the two main properties that I'm going to focus on is the one in which the sign of inequality changes. Let me first tell you the ones in which the sign doesn't change. So if we have this minus 3 plus x greater than 2. Here if we see our variable is positive, we don't have to change the sign of inequality. So that means when you see your question, at that time only it is clear whether you are going to change the, change the sign of inequality later on or not. So here if you see, we will keep this x as it is, we are going to transpose this minus 3 on the other hand side. So this minus 3 will become plus 3. Remember the rule of transposition? When you transfer a term on the other hand side, it takes a different sign. It takes its opposite side. So if it is a negative integer, it will be a positive integer on the other hand. But when? When it is being added or subtracted with the variable. So here it is very clear that it is being added with the variable. So we are transposing this minus 3 on the other hand side and it becomes 2 plus 3. So this is x is greater than 5. Here, we simply solve by using transposition. We didn't ch change the sign of inequality. Similarly, if we have 2, x plus 2, smaller than 5. If we have this case, here also our variable is positive. That means the sign of inequality is not going to change. So, x will be smaller than 5 minus 2. So, x is smaller than we simply solve the two equations without changing the sign of the inequality. <laughs> Alright, let's come on those two properties in which the sign of inequality changes. Let's take an example. 2 minus 3x is greater than 4. We'll do the transposition as it is. Like, we'll first transpose the constant. We first remove the constant. So, this 2 will go on the other hand side. So this minus 3x remains the same, this 4 will remain the same, this 2 will have its sign changed. So this is minus 3x greater than 2. Now we have to find the value of only x but here we have minus 3x. So here our variable is negative. So when we are going to transpose this minus 3 on the other hand side, we are going to reverse the sign of this inequality. So this will be x is smaller than 2 upon minus 3 or it can be written as minus 2 upon 3. So here you need to focus on that when you are transposing a negative integer, since it was a negative variable, we have to remove this minus 3 from here because we have to find the value of only x. So we have to remove this minus 3 from here so it needs to be transposed. But when you are transposing this, make sure you are changing this sign. It reverses. If it was greater than, it will become smaller than. And if it was smaller than, it will be opposite of it means greater than. So this you need to take care of. So that means when there is multiplication between the terms or we can say between the variable, here it is in multiplication. There is a dot between them which is hidden. So it is being multiplied by this x. So in case of multiplication, when you're transposing, it changes the sign of inequality. But this has to be negative. 
if it would have been a positive 3 it would not have changed the sign but just because of this minus 3 we have to change the sign of inequality now another property in which the sign of inequality changes is division now let me talk about division by a negative number so here it's again greater than 5 so I'm basically focusing on those two properties which gets the sign of inequality reversed because that is one condition where children often get confused when to change when not to change so just remember these two things when the sign of inequality changes now if you see as I told you one is multiplication by a negative integer and one is division by a negative integer so here it is division by a negative integer so when you are going to transpose this minus 2 on the other hand side again the sign of inequality changes this will change so this has to be opposite of it so this will be x smaller than minus 10 so this is something very important which you need to keep in mind now <clears throat> i have not spoken about the set in these whenever we are writing about the inequality since we are not having any equal to sign that means the x value is not fixed we are not getting a fixed value of x we are either having a greater sign or smaller than sign so in that case you need to write a set for it so when to write the set you have to just write set a you have to give a name sets always have a name so it can be any letter from a to z secondly it has to have be in the curly bracket Curly brackets are very important because sets are written in curly brackets. Now, let's say this x is a smaller than minus 10. If suppose x belongs to a negative integer, here this stands for negative integer. This stands for negative integer because we have this smaller sign of minus. If it would have been plus, it would have been a positive integer. If there is no sign with it, it means it's a integer. It's an integer. It can be any, a positive or a negative. So here, if it is like x is smaller than minus 10, then it can be any value ranging from minus 11 to infinity. But of course, it has to be smaller than minus 10. So it has to start from minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, and so on. Now, we will be showing these numbers on the number line as well. Okay. We have written a set in which x value is less than minus 10. All these numbers are less than minus 10. We have done this in integers. Now, to draw it on a number line, just draw a number line. So, you can just have a number starting from minus 10, minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14. We will not mark minus 10 because x value is smaller than minus 10. So, you will be marking from 11. So, when to mark it, you need to just darken the dot here. You will just darken the dots here. This way you mark the numbers on the number line. Since it is going to the infinity, so you can make three more dots just above the number line to show that it is being extended towards the infinity. That is how we mark numbers on the number line. I have spoken about the properties now. Now I would like to discuss about the sets again because I just want to tell you when it is written x belongs to n. So here n stands for natural numbers. Natural numbers starts from 1, 2, 3 and so on. If x belongs to w, then w is for whole numbers. Of course, it will include a 0 then and so on. And if x belongs to z, then this z stands for integer. Okay. If it is z to the power minus, it means a negative integer. If it is z positive, it means a positive integer. So, this will help us at what do we need to take in the set. Okay, if it says, says only natural numbers, that means x value will have only numbers ranging from 1 to infinity. If it says whole number, so it will have 0 to infinity. Z is an integer, so it can have infinite numbers, the negative infinite numbers, positive infinite numbers. 
and if it is negative that means only negative integers will be taking if it is positive that means positive integers will come in the sets now i'll just tell you how to form the sets i have already explained you how to solve the value for x it's just the same method of uh, transposition and all and where to change the sign of inequality and that inequality sign will let you know whether x is bigger than a given number or x is smaller than a given number so i'm just giving an example of an integer like suppose x belongs to z it is an integer and value of x is coming uh, as let's say smaller than minus 2 1 by 2 So we here we have x smaller than minus two one upon two. So the set set A we have to give a name to the set. Then we start off with the curly bracket. X value is smaller than minus two one upon two. That means it will start from minus three, minus four, and so on. So we have this set, and then accordingly we'll draw the number lines. So we'll start off from minus three, minus four, minus five, minus six. All these numbers will be marked because we have the value of x as smaller than minus two one by two, and three extra dots to show that this number line is going to last in infinity towards the left hand side because they are negative integers. Now I'm going to take another example where x is going to be greater than a number. So I'll take x greater than. Let's take the same number minus two one by two. I have taken the same number, but in this case, x is going to be bigger than this. So, your set again, you can name it set uh, y, let's say, and a curly bracket. X is greater. So, if you draw a number line after minus two point five, the number that will come next will be minus two, then minus one, zero, one, two, and so on. Now, based on this, you will draw your number line, and it will have minus two. Minus one, zero, one, two, and of course the three dots to show that it is going till infinity. And here we mark the dots to show the numbers on the number line. So this is something very important about inequalities. I hope this video of mine will help you in solving this chapter of inequalities. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel. Keep watching. Keep sharing. Thank you so much.